Welcome to Drum and Drummer, a podcast focused on drums, drumming and drummers. I'm George Pickering and that's Ben Winty and we are both professional drummers in this business we call music. So stick around and join us as we pass the time whilst trying to stay in time. Baking parchment. He's gone for parchment. Yeah, baking parchment. Great use of parchment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, a yeah, baker. Yeah. Let's bring parchment back. Welcome to Drum and Drummer. George Welcome. Boy. How are you? Yeah, good, man. Yeah, good. Yeah. Right. Let's just go straight in with... We had a gig last night. We did. And I know it's going to get bought up Yeah. at some point. The yeah. cars on the carpet. Yeah, we let's, could... We, let's, should we go? Because I mean, I feel like you were going to mention it, so I thought let's just get it, get it out there now. <laughs> yeah. So we had we had a gig together. I was on bass. You were on drums. Yeah. And there was a, a TP. TP. Yeah, yeah. TP. Yeah. yeah. Big TP yeah. that can hold, you know, a wedding full of people, and they have their, you know, their food in there, and it's sort of like the indoor bit. Um, but there's I prefer I bricks. Know, Do you know what I mean? Brick. Yeah. Bricks. Yeah. Bricks and like water. Like we invented the wall. Great. Yeah. What was ever wrong with bricks and water? Someone goes, <laughs> no, let's have some canvas in yeah. a pyramid Let's go shape. backwards. Yeah. Yeah. No, go forwards. It's 3D exactly. print, baby. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they have, uh, you can't really call it carpet. No, it's like that hessian sort of durable, well, you know, brown. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, 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 people know what I mean. People know what I mean. Yeah. So that's on the floor rather than just mud and dirt and grass. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and so there was a big patch of it beyond the TP behind yeah. where we were about to set up. Absolutely. And you had a van, highway maintenance van, which yeah. was funny in itself. And you just went, let's just park on here. And then... Yeah, well, let's, let's park on here because then the back of the teepee where we could load in to directly to where we're playing yeah it's a minimal journey yeah it's a minimal journey also let's say the the, the track up to where this teepee was was incredibly muddy yes so you're, you're running the risk day. of it raining we're running the risk of being trapped yeah and i do not want to be trapped no at a teepee in the middle of nowhere yeah so i was like well let's just reverse onto this sort of hessian thing that extends out the back and then we've got a lovely little load in lovely. and then we're we're reducing our risk of getting stuck and um, then the the TP woman, I'm calling her the TP woman. <laughs> she's like, "Oh, can you move your cars once you're yeah. unloaded?" Because obviously we had slightly muddy tires. Yeah. Oh, uh, because I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to wash this now. Yeah. She was really annoyed. Yeah. As um, if the rest of it was spotless and no one had been walking on it all day with yeah, muddy feet. Everyone had been traping mud in it all day. It yeah. had been raining. <laughs> it was an absolute state. <laughs> and also, well, if we move them and then bring them back, they're going to be more messy. Yeah. So did the classic tactic of go, yeah, okay, don't move them. Yep. And no one said anything, so we yep. just left them there. Just left them there. But um, yeah. but then drinks got spilt and stuff throughout the night. And oh yeah, I mean, anytime yeah. something happened, we'd be like, well, she's got to clean that bit now, <laughs> you know, as well. But it was weird. It was like, what you don't clean them all summer. You just turn up to by yeah. september those carpets will be knackered and i don't know if you remember it. george but a few weeks ago i had a gig and i went up to this um i think her name was julie or judy oh yeah how could we forget and i went and i said oh hi you know i'm part of the band and her reaction was oh well done yep <laughs> what if i'd have done that to tp woman <laughs> if she'd have gone oh you know oh i'm gonna have to click and i go oh well done yeah you know what i mean yeah should we mention the food as well? Because the ah, food yeah. was <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've had a, I've had a recent run where they're like, oh, there'll be food for you when you get here. Yeah, and then the caterers have forgotten. Yeah, and we've had dregs. Yeah, <laughs> or nothing. Yeah. Um, likewise, on the itinerary for a gig yesterday, so we're having barbecue food in the day. We'll save some for the band. Yeah, my hopes were low, George. To be honest, <laughs> very low. Um. But they'd set up a little gazebo behind the teepee yeah. for us where we left our cars. Mm. Um, and she was like, oh, the bride was like, oh, there's some food for you back there as well. Yeah. Right. Set the scene, George. What was there? Well, there was, I mean, it looked great in terms of the amount. Oh. You know? So there was, there was I'd so say, much food. <laughs> I'd say there was four big trays 
of, and I'm talking big trays of food, yeah. um, underneath brown, just brown paper, just sort of like baking parchment. And we yeah. were like, oh, I wonder what's under here. Baking One parchment? Tray just, He's gone for parchment? Yeah, baking parchment. Great use of parchment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, a yeah, baker. Yeah. You know Let's this. bring parchment back. Is that, Did, is that, do they use that in baking? Parchment? Yeah, 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 baking parchment. No, but I just feel like, you know, <laughs> in olden days, yeah. they're like, or, you know, time team, history and all that. Mm. It's described as, oh, this was written on a parchment. Right, yeah. This parchment. Whereas, you know, if Neil needs something because he needs to make some notes, yeah. like, can you get me a bit of paper? Yeah. But I could if, be he, wrong, if he but said, I... okay, can, can you get me a bit of parchment from the office? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'd love let's it. bring that back. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. had a teacher at school that was annoyed that people, she was old, that yeah. people don't still use Roman numerals. She, she was trying to teach us it, going, well, they might come back. So it's not going to come back. It's happened. It's gone. Um, but uh, yeah, so we had, it was covered in baking parchment, and one tray nice. was just sweet corn. Like barbecued sweet corn. I think if we'd have turned up just as they'd finished cooking it and they put it all out, it would have been amazing. Because there was a tray of mac and cheese, tray of yeah. like potato salad. There's always it was a salad. few hours old. Yeah, and then about two trays of just meat. Like it looked like there must have been thirty chicken drumsticks. Yeah, but then also so many ribs, so many loads of ribs, and just a lot of dry beef. A, f- a farmyard's worth of ribs. Yeah, <laughs> and I was looking at it, going, "I'm not." I think you summed it up by saying it's almost worse than no, no food. food. Yeah, because because that, there was so much. But then it was like I fancied a bit of the. Uh, I, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of eating meat off the bone. No, uh, I don't know if that's a well-known fact about me. <laughs> um, if it's out there not, now. If I had a Wikipedia page, it would be up there. Yeah. Um, and you don't, no so, matter how many times you tried yeah. to start one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not a huge fan, you know, but... So I was like, do you know what? It's a, it's a mac and cheese. There's about 10 portions of mac and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> one problem, there's no cutlery. Oh, yeah, how did we forget that? <laughs> so I, 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 there was some catering well i thought they were catering but turns out they were just doing like the drinks yeah and i went up to one of the staff and said i don't suppose you got a fork Mm. or some plates she was like no we just got glasses yeah so just resulted to just picking at it with my hands picking at it with your savage and i've got a video of us and i filmed us before you guys knew i was filming and it's so (laughs) depressing because everyone's quiet you're picking at mac and cheese and then colin and archie are just trying to eat get some meat off some rib bone and it's just dire it was like this is the uh yeah but i I did tuck into the uh sort of chicken legs and the good thing was, because there were so many, you could just take one bite of the good bit of the chicken leg and you didn't have to worry about trying to get all the little no. bit of meat off because you well, that's throw that on the pile yeah. and I'll just have another one. Well, that was another thing. At the end of it, there was just a pile of just discarded meat. And then I noticed when we were having a break, some... It was like guy, a scene from Game of Thrones. It was ridiculous. <laughs> and some guy came up and just started fiddling with our meat, you know, when we were on a yeah. break. And I was like, I don't think... I, I hadn't even got in involved but i was like now i'm definitely not getting involved but um yeah, yeah a lot of uh, a lot of it was they were all pissed i mean people are usually yeah. pissed but that guy at the end it was classic decade yeah you well, know that guy at the end that they love dragged... sex on fire i think yeah. that's all you need to know you know <laughs> that, that guy i have to say who got dragged to his tent because people were camping and then came back like five minutes <laughs> later and they had to take him away again yeah. and he wasn't even on this planet, you know. No, he, he was, was. He was gone. He was gone. It was. He was gone. I was worried, but yeah. um, yeah, a good gig all in all, you know. My favourite was... bit was so when we got there. I went and spoke to the bride, and she was lovely, and she seemed sober. Yeah, you know, I was able to have a conversation, and then she was showing us, showing me where we were gonna be playing. I was just having a chat with her, and then her new husband mm. arrives. Instantly, I'm like, he's pissed. Yeah, and he's like. Or oh, you the band? You like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, you've got to move the gazebo. No, oh, gazebo's fine where it is. Like he just it was obsessed with moving the gazebo. <laughs> and we were both like, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, and then there's one bit where obviously during later on in the night he was even more inebriated. Mm. Where we had a break between <laughs> the second and third set. So 
you know, music was playing from Spotify through the PA. Mm. And we came back onto the stage and I heard him say to Archie, so what, are you going to, guys going to take a break now? <laughs> I heard that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we, we've just had one. Yeah. Because <laughs> you've been on the dance floor for 10 minutes dancing to Whitney Houston. Yeah. Did no, you think we, we were playing Whitney Houston yeah. perfectly? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, it, it was one of those weddings where, and this happens a lot, where I didn't know who the groom was for quite a while. And I mm. always think that's a bad sign, you know. I mean, one in three marriages end in divorce. So I was sort of watching, going, I mean, I, I don't even know if I'll give it to the end of the evening. <laughs> but um, but the, the maid of honor came up to me. She came up to all of us, let's be honest. And she was, she was going, can you play Sweet, Sweet Caroline? And I was like, we don't play that, but we can put it on the list. And she goes, he don't want it, he doesn't want it, he, do, he doesn't want to hear it, but I want to hear it. And I was like, who, who are you talking about? She's like, the groom. She's like, he's a, he's How a basic are your tastes She's in like, music? Yeah, that goes, is what you want. She goes, he's a cunt. I hate him. I hate the groom. <laughs> She's like whispering it to me. I was like, okay. <laughs> what do you want from me? But um, yeah. I yeah. generously gave him three years. Yeah. Uh, as the night went on, that, that number came down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, but and as yeah. I said, I'd, I'd happily play her next wedding. Yeah, that's what I... Well, <laughs> give her a card and say, this isn't going to work out. When you try again, here's our card. Um, but other than that, easy. Absolute yeah. piss easy gig that I'll... After this conversation, I'll forget yeah. about. yeah. I bought a new snare. Yeah. Very much bought the same one you had. Um, <laughs> because I even called Love them it. up. Yeah. And I said, before I went, because obviously I'm in Brighton and it's Southampton. And although I was sort of going that way, I didn't want to just turn up willy nilly. Because you'd bought the 10th to last one. There was 150 mm. at G. Russell. And you bought, there was 10 left and you got one. And I thought, what if nine have gone? In the last mm. week, what if people have listened to the pod and gone out? Wow. Very that possible. is the power we yield. Yeah, exactly. So I called up, and uh, anyway, and I was, it's George went, from Drum and Drummer. Who? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> I went. Uh, yeah, have you got any of those uh, pearl sensor tone snares? And he do was remember, like, do you remember last week when <laughs> Big Man Winto came in and knew everyone <laughs> in the shop? <laughs> exactly. Surely you know him. Um, <laughs> And I was like, have you got any left? And he was like, yeah, we actually had 150 and there's now only nine left. And I was like, I already know this, but I didn't say that. But um, yeah, so I went in and I tried it and I was like, yep. Yeah, it's good, it's isn't good. it? Yeah, it's very, it's yeah. very, it's very sensitive. That's what I like yes. because this is something we've talked about before. And I think it is to do with whether it's, you know, wood or aluminium or brass steel? or yes steel, or brass, whatever yes, you know yes 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 it's yes. like how sensitive it is and that one that laurie miller spoke about which i can't remember the name of but is it the ludwig acrylite yeah but i i'm pretty sure i played that when i was in a lesson with pat or is it and the yeah, superphonic you, i can't remember one of them yeah it's, it's it's a yeah but it's like you tap it and it's like oh my god mm. this is so sensitive because i've said sometimes if you you know if you hit a snare you're like oh yeah that's a snare but if you tap it give it a grace note or a ghost note i found ghost the note, difference yeah. do you know the difference between grace note and ghost note not to go mm. all music theory we spoke about it in my last drum lesson i and feel I was like, like i should yeah. with my classical music degree yeah but pray do tell so tell, grace, tell the audience tell the yeah, listeners. yeah yeah okay yeah. it's gonna get a bit music and I'll theory nod along. here so a grace note is something that comes before a principal note yeah uh a grace note doesn't necessarily have no it doesn't need to fall into any sort of timekeeping sure whereas a ghost note does that and i asked i said is that the only difference so it's, no no it's not the only difference but it's like it's not the only difference you fall yeah you idiot All right. um and there's two types of grace notes and i've forgot the names because they are insane is one Aki yeah yeah and then the other, and the one, other one, one go on apoggiatura probably yeah i think i think those and i think i know the difference I'm pretty sure there's mm. one. It's like it's written as like a little tiny note next yep. to the the, the principal note. Yep, yep, yep. As yep. you say, 
and one of them has a line through the, yes. the stem and the other yes. one doesn't. Yes. And one of them means you do it like just before. Mm. But that, but that, like mm. a, a, kind of what you consider a flam. Yes. And one, I believe, is you actually halve the value of the principal note. Uh, uh, is I think instead. And so if it's a crotchet with a little one of them, you actually play two quavers. There's something like that. I, I think it was more to do with it's one, yeah, the one with the line, you play it just before principal note, but the one without a line, you can leave more space, is what I was told. Yeah, but I, be I believe it might be, there might be a different one, but it's, yeah, if you have, have the little note before the crotchet, mm. it actually means you do two quavers. It's really oh, weird. Okay. Yeah. But that probably aligns with there's more space. Yeah. And then the other one is, yeah, like a quick flam. But, but this is... But this is what's funny as well is it's up to you though. Do you know what I mean? As a sure. musician, it's like, you know, a ghost note is this is where it is. But a grace note, your closeness to the principal note is different to, you know, another drummer's. Yeah. And that's but quite good actually. Like, yeah. and I'll give you a great example. Obviously, oh, you know, we'd, we'd, we'd be talking in drum world more like a flam, you know, mm. a flam where you have that, like a, mm. a, a lighter one before the main one. And, and yeah, how you time those flams, that this that gap between them, is is quite important. Yeah. And a classic example is Bleed American, Jimmy Eat World. Yeah. Because the intro is blap and blap and blap and blap and blap and blap and blap. Yeah. And it's like if they're too quick, it doesn't work. No. So it's just got to get you got to get the right spacing. Yeah. In your flam. You have. Sometimes you want it quicker. Sometimes you need a little bit more. Ba ba you know. This is it. Something I learned from Ben Thatcher, Royal Blood, is to do a flam to start a, like a drum fill. So rather than going mm -hmm. like da 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 da, you go fla da 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 da, like do yeah, a flam yeah, yeah. on the first one. Da, 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 da. And I always yeah, like yeah. that. It I, it sort of beefs it up somehow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But anyway, so back to snares. Sometimes you do a, a grace note or a ghost note, and you you're not really getting anything. You're going well. I'm I'm tapping it, but there's not really much. You're not snare. getting the snare. You're not getting the sizzle. No, you're not getting the sizzle. But yeah, yeah, there's a yeah, lot of sizzle. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be honest, I played it, and I said to the guy, I was like, I'll be honest, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it anyway. But you know, it's nice to have a little go. And then I also bought a drum mat, which is good because for years I've been using an IKEA rug that you had in your studio. Um, yes. As I think you use them as drum mats, or maybe that one. I was used them as drum the... mats in rehearsal rooms. So then we shrank from three rehearsal rooms to two. So I had one yeah. spare. Yeah. And they're really good drum mats, and they're like yeah. they were like twenty quid from IKEA. Yeah. Good size. Yeah. And so. So I've had one for years. To you, yeah. But the thing is, as much as it was perfect size and did the job and everything, I was like, doesn't look as professional as I want. You know what I mean? I'm buying more stuff now to look more profesh, you know, better cases, better drum mat, you know. Um, so, yeah, but even buying a drum mat was hard work because I went upstairs in G. Russ and you know that um, when you're up the cymbal bit and they've got that kit where you can practice, try out cymbals mm. on, it has the biggest drum mat in the world. And he was like, I can get you one of these. I was like, that's mental. That's That's bigger <laughs> than, you know the floor plan of my flat and then uh and he's like oh you can i was like you got any smaller ones he's like, yeah, yeah sure and he showed me this little bath mat thing and i was like you got anything in between and he pulled out this thing and i was like yep that's perfect because also those ones were like some mad pattern it looked like a 70s carpet which is kind of cool in a way but i was like yeah. i don't know some gigs mm. it would work but you know It'd be weird if I'm playing for Wren or something with a 70s carpet. So, yeah, drum mat. What, and br snare. what brand is the drum mat? I don't know, actually. I, I don't even know if it has a brand, but it's just a classic sort of like charcoal grey yeah, sort of charcoal. colour. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so drum mat and snare. And I don't know what is next on the list. I think because I've got my cases. I've got new skins recently. Might mm -hmm. get a new kick skin. But I think now it's start to think about... Trying to play the drums. Try and play the drums, yeah. I'm thinking new cymbals is next, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we spoke about it in the car last night. about In the highway maintenance van. In the highway maintenance car. Yeah. Um, van. Van. Uh, which were you saying on Reddit? That people are like, oh yeah, these are the yeah, hi-hats. So you know, you see a lot of questions. Like, I think there's obviously personal taste is such a key thing when you're buying mm. new drum equipment 
you know, for the sound you want and sound you're happy with. But then also you have to figure, you know, consider maybe like what the, the job you're doing. So yeah. perhaps one particular snare drum works for one thing but doesn't work for the other. So, mm. you know, if you're in a, a rock band, you might have a different, need different stuff to if you're in a pop mm. thing or doing jazz and things like that. But there is definitely like, a, you know, looking on the Reddit drum community and things like that, um, as, as purely an observer at the yeah. moment, but you you certainly see the same thing crop up by people as just like these are just good. These yeah, are, yeah, yeah. you know, and you see a lot of people like, oh, I want to get some new hi hats, and just really common, you know, commonly talked about is the Zildjian fourteen inch new beats. Mm. And I've heard of these and I've seen them. I've never played them, I don't think, but they kind of look. They kind of look quite shit in a way. They're, they're not shiny. Yeah. And the, the new beat is just in like capital letters. There's no yeah. snaz, yeah. pizzazz to how new beat is. It's not like the Z, which is like yeah. hit italics, you know. Yeah. Um, and I just seen them. And, and some people are like, if you're going to buy a pair of hi-hats, these, these are the ones. Like they're just really universal. Mm. It's just a good balance of wash and crisp. And I just sort of thinking like, you know, in, in my drum gear and collection, like, I think now I want to be more, you know, buy a new ride, but don't get rid of the old one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. And I want to buy things that kind of tick boxes and give you that variation. Yeah. Um, especially for doing studio stuff. And so it's kind of going like, do you know what? I think like a, a set of, because I've got 13 inch A Custom Master Sounds mm. and I love them. Mm. But then it's like I use them kind of for everything. Yeah. But it's like maybe like fourteen inch new beats would be a great second pair to have. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. A, an inch bigger, but they're maybe more of a um a warmer, washier mm. sort of thing. And and even like with the, the that pearl sensor tone snare that we both have, it's like I don't have a steel snare drum. No. But it'd be good to have one. Yeah. And then obviously for that price, then it's a decent you're like, well, yeah, I can get that one. So it's it's kind of I think for me, I want to build up a collection of things that, you know, because we were talking, yeah, as well, about like the stage, the Yamaha Stage Custom. Mm. Like for its price, it's just really good quality drums. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, it'd be nice to, nice to have a Stage Custom. Yeah, it would. You know? Yeah. It'd be nice to have a, just just things that, yeah, you, you've got that sort of, um, you're buying things with the consideration of your taste, mm. but the variation of functionality yeah, and a and a broad sort of spectrum of tones and sounds. Yeah, couldn't have said that it better sense. myself. Yeah, it does because I remember I I mentioned him when we were talking about this last night. Jack Pollitt, a teacher at BIM, and he was all about you know sound and feel and groove and stuff. And he did very much say like, if you want to change the sound of your groove, have a different you know snare or he said it, like it doesn't always have to be your playing that changes it was like if you change and it sounds so obvious when you say it it's like if you have a different if you play on a different kit it's going to sound different and um yeah but i think it's interesting as well that there are certain just industry standards you know he always used to talk yeah. about the yeah. black beauty snare and it's just like you know if that's tuned up and through a and you, you know a good mic it sounds great and it's just yeah. like that's the sound that's a good snare sound you know and you also said about i think it was like the fender precision bass yeah yeah that's just like yeah that's great but this but this yeah, is, and i think even even just on a much maybe a broader spectrum it's like you know guitarists who are professionals or you know good level who have more than one guitar mm. more often than not they've got a strat they've yeah got a stratocaster like yeah. it, you, that gives you a certain tone yeah and sound but also it's widely accepted as just a great guitar yeah i've always heard the sound the telly is the one the telecaster is like the guitar that just is great for live and studio yeah people always go to it but yeah no but that that opens up the conversation of like is it because the fender precision bass or the telecaster is so good is that why it's still used or is it because that was what was used in the early days of recording and then people are still trying to chase after that sound like if it was a different fender bass that was used you know on motown records or something would that then be the sought after thing or was that 
just the best and still is the best you know because some of it i guess is trying to you're trying to sound like drummers of the past you know and are you trying to sound because they're good or is it because they just i don't know they have i think it could almost be snare. like uh you know natural selection yeah like people can try and they, they do new things they innovate mm. they change things up but fundamentally they just got that one right yeah and universally or like the majority of people it ticks their boxes mm. not just on sound but playability mm. that that just that design just works yeah and you could say the same for like yeah like maybe the the new beats or even like a yamaha stage custom mm. it used to be about 500 quid now it's probably around seven eight hundred quid mm. it just works yeah for that price point and how they make it mm. It's just, yeah, that's real. It's just really good. Yeah. And they don't need to change it. No. And, but the majority of people agree. Yeah. That, yeah, that is just a good, it play, you know, and even, yeah, just, just like a, it's almost like a natural selection thing. Yeah. Where it just over time, mm. it's still something people go to mm. because it just, yeah, it just works and it, it sounds good. And it's, and, yeah. It doesn't, it, it, you know, because you get things that like evolve and, and they'll be like, oh, let's try a new different shape of hoop or things like that. And mm. it can sound cool and it can work on certain things. But I think it's almost that like that general, it it just covers more bases. Mm. You know, it just kind of, it, it's versatile, but it's just, it, it's just solid or yeah. it's just well made or it's just easy to play or mm. it's not hard to tune it and make it sound good, mm. you know, with a drum, for example. And, yeah, sort of like that. It's nice to have those things as well that are just, especially if you're, like, looking to buy something new and it's just universally understood, oh, that's the one to get, or yeah. that's solid. I mean, even just in terms of, like, the SPDSX, that there is just one pad. Yeah, It is that. There's no other... I always find yeah. that fascinating, that there's no other, like competitor it's just roland has smashed it and no Everyone one else, else went yeah cool yeah, yeah that's great. fine yeah, yeah. That's no other drum company we'll all use that yeah, yeah we'll all use that and it's and even, i think even with are, um yeah sorry no i was gonna like say my... the first certain things that are like that. yeah 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 it just works even like my um honda civic I <laughs> when i bought yeah. it 10 years ago a, a friend of mine who's very into cars he said oh, what have you bought i said a honda civic he went yeah you'll yeah be fine. yeah same like, with my golf just kind of it just works yeah. and it's renowned as yeah that's yeah that's a good car it's going to last and yeah. some of the, some of those things will be intentional but some some things will just be like just it just it's like I've, I've mixed songs before i ain't done anything different but it just works mm, mm. <laughs> and it sounds good and then you do the same things to another song it doesn't work yeah just a, a combination of things just top up this and they it? just yeah they just become considered yeah that's that's, I'm sure. I'm sure, it's the same with something like guns. Yeah, there's a particular, there's a particular gun. That like, yeah, that just that yep. just mows down loads of people. Well, the AK-47, really, it, the guy that go. made it, he hated himself for doing that. But <laughs> bloody good gun, you know. <laughs> anyway, that's probably a good place to end. <laughs> I think so. Uh, in other news, I've got a new rucksack. Yeah, that is good news um, actually. It's my very first, very first bright. New rucksack in eleven years. Yeah. And I thought, let's get a new one. Oh, it's good. Bright orange. Bright orange, which in the Bright highway orange. maintenance van last night was <laughs> funny. It looked like we yeah. were, yeah. Needed to do some highway maintenance on that path out of the Well, they did. Venue. Can you imagine if someone broke down and we drove past and they were like, are you in that? No, we just hired this van that's a highway maintenance van, Yeah. which is yeah. mental. Uh, shall we bounce? Yes. Yeah. We've just squeezed this in because busy schedule. Busy schedule. You know. Um yeah. Yeah. Uh Twitter um Instagram email, all that shit. Yeah, There's gonna be some touch. stuff coming on the YouTube. Well, well, I think I'm gonna do it today, so it should be out when you listen to this, <laughs> unless I really can't do it and it doesn't come out for a week. But um yes. Yeah. There's gonna be some YouTube stuff coming out. Just all the usual shit. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Nice. Great stuff. Great stuff. Well have a good day. Chat you, George. Yeah, you too, mate. You and, too. Uh, yeah. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Drummond's Drummer. 
You can find us on Instagram at Drum and Drummer Podcast. And you can send us an email to drumanddrummerpod at gmail.com. Remember, just pick up the sticks and twat it.